I just feel like eating the color purple. Hi everyone, my name is Jake. Welcome to The Kitchen Scrap, where I'm currently challenging myself to learn to survive on British World War II Russians for an entire year. The thing is to keep smiling and never look as if you disapprove. So it's dinner time and I need to make a nice side dish to go along with it. So this evening I have opted to make a red cabbage and apple casserole, the recipe of which comes from this book here. Food fast for the kitchen front. And it is absolutely delicious. Now something us Aussies have in common with the Brits is that we would frequently have fish and chips on Fridays. <laughs> now something our family used to do, I'm not sure how common this was, we would always get a pickled onion to square off the meal, which sounds weird, but hear me out. Once you've ingested that tsunami of oil, if you have a pickled onion, it's deliciously sour and it just strips all that oil from your insides and you feel right as rain again. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because this recipe calls for a dash of vinegar. It makes it taste just like a pickled onion you would get from the fish and chip shop, which I love. So for this recipe, you will need one small red cabbage, half a pound of apples, which is actually just one apple, a small onion or a little minced spring onion. Now the rule is if the recipe calls for either, I have to go for the spring onion, a dessert spoon of flour. Strangely enough, that dessert spoon of flour doesn't actually pop up at all in the recipe. So I'm not quite sure I know what to do with it. A piece of a bay leaf, half a pint of water or stock. I'm just gonna use water. Even though I made that amazing vegetable stock the other night, it's in the freezer and I'm only gonna be using a tiny bit of it. One ounce of dripping, salt and pepper, and a dessert spoon of vinegar. Let's get cooking. So I'm just melting a little bit of the vegetable shortening in the pan here. I think I'm gonna start with the, or maybe I should start with that dessert spoon of flour. Just chuck that in and see what happens. I'm just using wholemeal, give it a bit of a stir. This will help to thicken all the juices up a bit later on. Now I'm just going to fry off the spring onions. I use two. Really wish I could use some garlic in this, but you know what? It actually doesn't need it. It's quite nice without it. Something I am looking forward to is next year when I'm not on the ration, or maybe I will be, I don't know. But in my mind, I'm not. <laughs> but I can still make these wartime recipes and make them the way that I would like to and just add little enhancements here and there. But to be honest, you don't actually need to a lot of the time. A lot of the flavor really does come from the way you cook the vegetables. Next, I'm just going to add my cabbage. It calls for two small red cabbages. I just had half of a big one, so that's fine. I've just chopped and rinsed this up. And we're just going to cook this until it becomes a little bit tender. Make sure you get all of that cabbage out. Gorgeous color, isn't that amazing? I love red cabbage. I love all cabbage. Red cabbage seems to be the most expensive at the moment. Are you guys finding that? So yeah, when a recipe calls for cabbage, just buy whatever is cheapest. Anything will work. Savoy, drumhead, red cabbage. Wombok is a really good one. Well, man down. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. And just a little bit of water to help get that going. Not too much. Okay, we'll add a little bit more. Probably measure out about a quarter of a cup. Now it just said to add a piece of a bay leaf. Now that cabbage is starting to release its juices now. Next, we are going to add the apples. <clears throat> so I've just sliced them up. I guess it doesn't really matter how you cut them up. You can dice them if you prefer. I always use Granny Smith apples in cooking, whether it's savory or something sweet. They just have that right balance of tartness and sweetness. Now these apples should pick up the color of the red cabbage and turn a lovely pink color. And last but not least, I'm just going to add a dessert spoon of vinegar. And basically just cook this down until the cabbage is tender. Not too tender though, don't overcook it. You still want a bit of crunch there. So I would estimate somewhere between five and 10 minutes on medium heat. All right, so that's been cooking for about seven minutes. I added a little bit of extra salt and pepper and I also added an extra cap full of vinegar just because I really enjoy that kind of sour tart hit. So this is a super easy, super cheap and super healthy side dish, which is going to form part of my main meal this evening. 
So thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day and until next time, keep calm and pickle on.